Having a neatly styled CSS box on your HTML document will add some extra flair, but I guess more importantly, the box will allow you to separate or highlight certain blocks of your content from other content on your document. This video will show you how quick you can add rounded corners to your CSS content box and really make it stand out. Let's go ahead and open up our editor and have a look at the code to add the rounded corners. Now I've already added my content down here in the body section and this is just a basic HTML5 document and up here in the head section I've got my opening and closing style tags with the code I'm using to generate the box and I basically created a class titled my CSS box and using the basic CSS syntax I've got my opening curly bracket and the properties to define the box and their values and this is just one way to list this using it like this I've got, for example, using the padding with just the one value. That means that the same value is going to be listed on the top, bottom, left, and right. If you wanted them different on some of those sides, then you could spell it out. For example, padding dash left, and then put the value that you want. Padding dash bottom, put the value that you want, and so on. Likewise with the border and the margin. The way I have them listed here, the value represents all four sides. And with the border, you can also style it even further by having different types of the border. For example, I've got groove demonstrated here. You can have dashed, dotted, solid, double, outset, inset, as well as the color. And you can see here I'm using the colored name opposed to the hex code or the RGB values. And down here in the content area, I've got the My CSS box class already spelled out down here using the opening div class tag and down here I've got the closing div tag and inside of this block content I've got a couple of different paragraphs okay enough of me yammering on let's take a look at how this box looks before we add the rounded corners because right now no rounded corners let's go ahead and open this up in our browser here inside of the Komodo editor and that's basically it we've got the border and this is called groove and if we were to change this to Let's say inset and then save. It, yeah, you can see there's a little bit of a difference there. You can go with dashed. I mean, like I said, there's a bunch of different ones. And there, that kind of stands out. Now, this may not look as good with the rounded corners as, say, a more solid border, but we'll have a look at it anyway. Now, I'm using EMs instead of, say, pixels or percentages because an EM better represents the values of that particular browser this is being seen in. And if there are no set values or changed values for that browser, then 1EM equals 16 pixels. So if, say, I normally would have a 10 pixel wide border, then I would take 10, divide it into 16 to come up with 0.3125. Okay, so that's the math part of it. Let's go ahead and add a rounded corner to this. And this is all we need for this to be a rounded corner. However, not all browsers recognize border dash radius. Let's go ahead and save this. And in this particular browser, it works just fine. Let's have a look at this in, say, the Chrome browser. It's working just fine there as well. And let's see about Firefox working there as well. And how about Internet Explorer? So far, we were batting a thousand. Let's try Safari on all of them. Fantastic. So the only one that I have not really tested this on major browser-wise is Opera. And that's mainly because I don't have Opera installed on my computer. But for the most part, this is all we need. How simple is that? Now you can adjust the radius here, the curvature, by this number right here. If you want it more, increase the number. And let's see what it looks like in Chrome. And that will hold true in all the browsers that I just demonstrated. So now you know how you can add some additional style to your already stylish CSS box. That's going to bring us to the end of this video on adding rounded corners to your CSS box.